So in the storm water, um, uh, storm water cost data, I found uh, these uh, costs. I get the catch basin, salt drainage. Uh, this is a piping, salt drainage, concrete piping, salt drainage, corrugated metal, storm drainage, uh, manholes. And then natural gas, liquid fuel, electrical utilities, and so on. So let's see uh, in the drawings where we have uh, the drainage. Very likely it's here in one of the... Um, see the drawings? Hmm? C3, paving, grading, and drainage plan. So this one has a uh, drainage. So they have a proposed catch facing, proposed manhole, drainage pipe, elevation, existing elevation, proposed drainage system, resurfacing, and uh, new pavements. Hmm. So, well, what it says is we have these catch basin, these points that collect the water, right? Mm -hmm. And they are interconnected with the pipe. So they, they take the water that comes from here will go down in gravity to the next point where more water is connected, uh, collected, I'm sorry. And then that will move with uh, this pipe to the next point and so on and so forth until it uh, goes and uh, connects to a manhole over here that will go to the uh, city uh, system, right? Mm -hmm. Which is this one here, I believe, this uh, uh, dash nine by others. So we're the, the, the only problem here is that because this is a, a gravity system, right? Because it's a gravity system, the, uh, the pipes have uh, inclination. So if you look at the plan layout, we may have... Uh, a pipe that goes from point A to point B, right? Mm -hmm. And this pipe has a, a length L, right? But when we look at the side view, point A is here and point B is here. So the pipe, the, the, the length, the true length is not L that we're measuring up here, is let's say D, right? The, the distance between A and B is longer than the measure that we do on the layout, right? And the reason for that is that this is at a certain slope. So then the, this value D, this value D is equal to the square root of L squared plus Y squared, right? It's longer than L. And uh, we need a way to estimate this value D is while we measure L. So there, there are different ways to do that, you know, L, equals D times the cost of uh, alpha, and then uh, Y equals D times the sin of alpha. Uh, you have L, so you can find D, right? But that, that's uh, one way to do uh, triangles. The other one 
is uh, by using the slope, right? So we could do the uh, calculations uh, using the slope, which will say, okay, for every, let's say, one feet that we go horizontal, we will drop down a quarter inch, right? So that will be the slope for this, uh, for this line. So for L feet that I'm going horizontal, how many inches I'm dropping? That way I can calculate Y, use that formula and get D. That's the math behind it. Now, when we use our screen takeoff, the software has a, a function that will do that for us. Okay, so we don't have to do the, 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 the math. We can calculate the L value and then uh, figure out the, the distance, the, the uh, D value. So I'm going to uh, do an example here and show you. The, these slopes are re generally very um, small, so the difference between D and L is not really too much. But still, as a concept, it's important to understand. So I'm going to create a new condition. It's going to be a linear condition to measure that pipe. So I'm going to say this is uh, drainage uh, line. This is what the uh, diameter, 18 inches. So the thickness of this thing is uh, 18 inches, it's a thick pipe, apply, okay. So now I measure the distance between this point and something's wrong here, this point. I bet it's a scale. 1 to 30 feet, so I need to adjust this to 1 to 30 feet. Okay, that's much better. So, what I did is a regular linear condition to estimate that uh, pipe, right? What value I'm reading over here? I'm reading L, right? But I do want to read D. I want to measure the real distance between those two points. So for that, I will go and use this um, slope. So the slope will tell me how many <coughs> inches will I draw per foot. Normally, this type of uh, pipes have uh, a quarter inch per foot. So I will do 12.25. Uh, and then so that means uh, I will drop a quarter inch for every feet. The, distance, the, the change is not too much, 4,501 versus, let me delete this, 4501, oh, that cannot be right. Oh, it's a quarter inch, 0.25 per foot for every 12. Okay. Okay, now it makes more sense. 94, and if I delete it, Still 94. See, the, 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 the slope that I'm using is for every one foot, you're going down one quarter of an inch, right? So this is about 100 feet. So 100 feet, what type of drop do we have? 100 times a quarter. Right? 25 inches. So that's one foot. So for 100 feet, we're going down one foot. So the, the, the difference in length between L and D is very small. That's why when I put the slope, it almost doesn't see. But what about if I go one foot down for every foot that I go straight? 
then it will make a big difference, right? So look at this. If we have, uh, if I change this uh, slope to one to one, now the difference is considerable. It's uh, 133. Why? Because I have 100 feet horizontal. I'm dropping 100 feet vertical. So this distance, the distance equals the square root of 100 squared plus 100 squared, which is 100 times the square root of 2, right? So that, that is a, a significant number in comparison to 1 quarter to a foot. That, that's how this, uh, this uh, slope work deals, deal works. You have a quarter inch or a half of an inch per foot, so for every 12 inches you go down half of an inch. Here it, it, it makes a, a small difference, you know, if I use a, a half of an inch instead of a quarter, it goes from 93 to 94. If I delete this, it goes back to 93, see? Well, no, it stays still in 94. It doesn't doesn't change much. We're also doing a small line. If you did the whole line, I'm assuming. It right, yeah. that's true. The the line is small, so that that doesn't doesn't change too much. But then you know that's how the slope uh, function works. And then basically what you do is you keep uh, the same. Uh, what, what are you doing? I'm using a half of an inch per, per foot. So I'm using 0 0.5, one half of an inch. I, I said one quarter before. It, I, did, I don't know exactly what this drawing says, but it's normally that in that range, one quarter, one half of an inch for every foot. That makes the water move uh, by gravity. So, the, the, and, and if you see the, Architect, actually, the, the elevation that he's using, he's using the same elevation for these catch basins, which, which is not correct. This is five feet, this is five feet. So according to this drawing, the, the pipe is horizontal. But now we, we have to be careful when we read the drawings. Why? Because we can have different diameters. Usually, the, you know, if you're collecting water over here, right, and then you connect to this catch basin where you have more water coming in, and then you come to this catch basin where you have more water coming in, what is the amount of water that goes through this pipe? What you collected here plus what you collected here plus what you collected here, right? So normally these pipes increase in diameter as they move from the uh, from catch basin to catch basin so they can accommodate more water okay and if we look at the at the drawing it says here proposed 18 inches this is the material HDPE pipe if we go to the next one what does it say 18 inches, right? If we go to the next one, what does it say? 24, right? So now, this segment is no longer 18 inches. It's 24 inches. So I need to delete this thing and then create a new condition, linear condition, call this uh, drainage Line, 24 inch. And then uh, now I can measure the, the 24 inch line. What? Okay. No. What? What? 
No, because I was uh, when I draw the line, it's not going from one point to the other one. It's shift. jumping, right? Yeah. So you need to hold the shift key in order to do the uh, fine selection of that uh, line. You're welcome. That's a very good valid question. So then here we have uh, again 18 inches going to 18 inches. So, you know, here's where, where, where you learn little tricks as you work on the, on the, on the project. Right now, this two says uh, drainage line, right? I know one is 18 inches, the other one is 24. But I cannot differentiate them from this naming. So it's better to have the diameter first and then the description, right? So when you're going to pick up one to do your, your next line, it's easy to recognize. Everybody understands what I just said? So instead of having drainage line in 18 inches, I will have 18 inches drainage line. So now it's very simple to recognize the difference between this one and this one. Right? So I have 18 inches. So here. This is what you were asking. If I try to get this point, I can't. So I have to hold the shift key and then I'm able to move it to the right place. Here's a So we just keep going here and we uh, do the uh, fine thing like that. And then uh, we need to count for the catch basing. So this will be a count condition, right? We can do uh, out of count or we can do a regular count. So it's up to you. This is probably simple to do the regular count because all you have to do is just follow each of these lines and you know there is a catch basing on each uh, intersection, right? That's where they, they, they mean, uh, they, they meet and you will have one at each one of those points. Now this seems to be by others over 
here. So we'll stop at that uh, point over there. Okay, so I have uh, the catch basins, I have the uh, drainage lines. I can probably uh, like to to join these together in um, a new uh, type, maybe called a drainage. So that way, I have uh, I have them uh, grouped together. Drainage. And the catch facings also. And to have these into the drainage. So now I have them uh, sort of uh, grouped together. So when I go to the takeoff, they are also uh, grouped together. And it's easier to select, copy, and then go to on screen takeoff, tap, and paste it here. What happened? So now I've, uh, I've made some estimate in the uh, drainage line. I have the 18 inch, I have 24 inch. I could also uh, go back to the drawing and then look at the materials, right? It says uh, H, uh, HDPE line, right? So that, that tells you about the type of material that they're using. It's also a very good idea to look at the uh, at the general notes. You know, you, you want to review these uh, notes. That's fourteen. So these are. Yeah, it tells you, well, actually it gives you a, a, a schedule of these uh, catch basins. We have a 6, a 6, a 7, a 8, and then each one of those have their uh, description over here. Round top, it gives you the elevation, top and bottom, the elevation of the uh, pipe. So it should be 18 uh, in total. I have only counted 10, uh, but of course I, I'm not finished. There is uh, more piping going on this side that I have not accounted for. In any 